Hi everyone, I'm Danielle. And I'm Luke. And we're Pacific Trek. We want to wish you a very special holiday season and a very Merry Christmas. Yes, wherever you are in the world today, we hope you are having a, a good Christmas. And I know it's been a tough year, uh, but 2020 is almost at the end and uh, 2021 brings new beginnings. Um, we today are going to check out a cruise on the Gold Coast with some food. I was gonna say SeaWorld. Hey friends, we're, we're Pacific, Pacific Trek. Trek. I'm Danielle, an American. And I'm Luke, an Aussie. After meeting and living in the United States, we moved to Australia in 2019. We traveled across the US and documented our trip on YouTube. Now we're in a new country with so much to explore and we want to share it with you. So join us right here for our next adventure starting now. So we are at the Bruce Bishop car park. It is $2.50 an hour, $5 daily cap. So if you're ever in Surfer's Paradise, it's a great place to park and go have a walk. And it's only four minutes walk to the SeaWorld Cruise Terminal. Are you excited? Excited! Going on SeaWorld Cruises! She hasn't even had anything to drink yet. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Danielle at Pacific Trek and we're just about to board a SeaWorld cruise. We had missed our lunch cruise, but I'm super excited because the sun is about to set or is setting and there's plenty of seafood on board. So here we go. Are you excited, Luke? Yeah, yeah. let's go check it out. They've got, um, if you're not able to eat seafood, they also have a bunch of other stuff available as well. So don't worry if you're not a seafood fan. We had originally planned to do both a lunch and a dinner cruise, but the lunch cruise was postponed due to inclement weather. Our vessel was called the Spirit of Elston. It had two decks. We were seated indoors on the lower deck where there was a buffet and a bar, as well as the entertainment. Because this was a Christmas cruise, they had the vessel decked out with decorations and we had bonbons on our table. It was a great way to get into the holiday vibe. The upper deck was an open area with unimpeded views of the Gold Coast skyline. This was a perfect place to come and enjoy the atmosphere as the world floated on by. The food was delicious and there was no shortage of it. I personally liked the pesto pasta salad. The lamb was also very tender and the herb crusted lemon chicken was full of flavor. Danielle obviously loved the seafood. The local prawns were so very fresh. Prawn. 
that goodness. The spirit of Elston peacefully sailed north throughout the evening past SeaWorld and along the spit before turning back at a nice casual pace. Up on the top deck we enjoyed the cool ocean breeze and the atmosphere, taking in the lights of the Gold Coast cityscape by night. The entertainment on our cruise was provided by Maddie Zanata. Maddie is a very talented singer and she is based right here on the Gold Coast. For dessert, there were three options, including a meringue, a chocolate cake, and a passion fruit cheesecake. We shared the chocolate cake and passion fruit cheesecake. Such a deliciously sweet way to end the evening. We had such a great time on board with SeaWorld Cruises. We can't wait to do it again. The cruise ended up back where we started at Appel Park, just a short walk from Cavill Avenue in Surfers Paradise. Have you enjoyed tonight, my love? Yeah. What's been oh. your highlight? What a night. Yeah, what has been your highlight? Mm, I, hard to go past the chocolate cake. <laughs> but no, seriously, it has been beautiful to get out on the water and just catch the lights. And Beautiful night, beautiful temperature, just everything's been perfect. The has such a beautiful skyline. It does. Sea World Cruises has done it. Perfect. Done it. Hey everyone, we just finished our SeaWorld dinner cruise and we had so much fun! Wasn't it good? Yes, so I recommend that if you have something to celebrate, if you are doing an anniversary or a birthday, this is definitely something that you do with your friends or your a loved ones. So someone was celebrating their birthday tonight with 10 of their girls, they all had white dresses on. They were so cute and they matched, had a fun time dancing up on the top deck. 
and then another anniversary couple that um, just got to celebrate some love time so it was great <laughs> Yeah, and look, if you're just visiting the Gold Coast, it's a great way to get out and see a little bit more of the city from a different perspective while you enjoy some great food. We had yes. delicious food. You tried some of the seafood. Really, really good. Yeah, so it, it was really great nights. Definitely recommend checking it out. And yeah, Sea World Cruises. They made it a great time. Yes, gotta check it out. We went for a quick stroll down Cavill to the beach before heading home and wrapping up a spectacular evening. So there's lots of food places along here and this mall goes all the way to the beach at the end there you can walk pretty much off it and under the beach So this is all part of downtown surfers paradise. It's called Cavill Street, a uh, really popular area in surfers. Um, it's kind of the main drag. And a bit of a mall for you to check out. Plenty of food places and some tourist attractions like time zone, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, worth coming to check out. Uh, tons of people here. Kind of has a feel of maybe a cross between Las Vegas and Orlando, I reckon. There's the time zone up there. Remember to like and subscribe because we have more great adventures coming your way, both from the Gold Coast and around the world. We look forward to seeing you on our next adventure right here with Pacific Trek.